all this. There were so many tra traditions. There were so many laws and rules of our tradition that held our forefathers and foremothers backwards. That caged them and killed them. Hello everybody. Hi guys everyone. If you're just coming in, good evening to you. And please share the video with everybody. Yeah, we need to talk. Yes, we need to talk. Oh my god. We need to talk. It's a very cold, very, very bad weather today over here. It's so cold and it's cold. It's cold and windy at the same time. So yeah, I'm a bit cover up today. Got everybody here. Good evening, everybody. You are welcome on board. Let us talk. Talk, talk. Look, guys, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. But I just came in not long ago. It's a very terrible weather these days in Europe. For those of you who are not watching from, you know, from the Western world. Yeah. It's a terrible weather. So everybody, it's a coffee and tea time. Yeah, it's coffee, cappuccino, and tea time, you know, anything to keep you warm. Plus that, I just got in, have to quickly, you know, put one or two things together for the kids. And I'm hungry myself. So in this video, I'm going to be eating later. Yeah, I can't wait because, you know, our video normally lasts for a, a little bit of long time. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I cannot wait the video finish because... I cannot eat at that time when the video is finished because it's too late for me. So yeah, I'm going to be eating because I haven't eaten before coming live today. So I'm just saying this. So if you see me eating, please don't feel bad. Like, oh, what's she doing? Why is she eating? Is she serious? Yes, I am serious. So yeah, I'm going to be eating later. Okay. Where is yours? Oh, my darling, yours is here. <laughs> get me the address and i'll post it yeah so yeah you're welcome on board good evening everybody you're welcome on board yeah 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 it is terrible it's a terrible weather guys look i have my tea um flax here yeah so i'm gonna be sipping my tea and i'm gonna be eating later i need to put something in this belly right so yeah good evening everybody you're welcome on board if i don't call your name don't worry i'm seeing your comments so yeah i'm gonna be keeping eyes on comments today but you know as i do it here on this platform i might not read your comments but there are a lot of other people reading the comments and i'm gonna be reading your comment later but i wouldn't want to focus solemnly on the comments because i don't want to be distracted you know how it is you know reading comments and talking at the same time i feel where you way you understand what i'm saying so yeah i cannot feel where i'm viewing yeah for those of you who don't understand i cannot whistle and sniff at the same time you have to do one yeah so i can't read your comment at the same time concentrating on my topic so that i don't get distracted so yeah so i read your comment i see them if i just you know, if I don't read them, I doesn't mean I'm not seeing them. I see you. So, yes, before we get started, while well, I got my food close to me, let me play this music. What are we talking about today? You guys know. I mean, when is it okay? When is it all right? Under what circumstances should you date a married man or a married woman? That is what we're talking about today. This wasn't supposed to be my topic today, guys. Remember last time on, on was it on Thursday? Yeah. On Thursday last week, I told you guys that we we're going to be talking about a topic, an interesting topic, which was brought to my notice. But hey, I mean, I need to talk about this now. You all know how I feel about dating a married man or a married woman on this platform. You all know my advice and how I feel about the whole thing, right? Because I never fail to talk about that whenever a situation presents itself. And in that situation, in the saga and drama going on on Facebook right now, it is very, very okay. It is all right. It is something that we should talk about. You know, when you don't want to, when you see something going wrong and you refuse to speak, 
it will knock at your door someday and you will have nobody to speak about it you understand what i'm saying so yeah don't say oh it's not me oh why sh they should ignore it hey, it is not their business hello what are you talking about when stuff are happening when things are happening there are some people you expect to talk about it and i'm one of those people i know so yeah i've gotten a lot of messages a lot of videos a lot of calls oh b and b this and that now before i go into the video team before i go further let me use this opportunity to send this warning to everybody please you all know your girl your sister you know your friend your bestie b and b i am very respectful but hey i do not like when you trespass you understand and another thing i want to say is please when you send me video don't send do you know how i feel if you've been a fan of bnb &B right from the one you've been a follower of bnb &B right from the one you all know how i feel about nudity i don't do that please do not send me videos that contains nudity more or less like a porn video i don't do porn neither do i do anything relating to that aspect please don't do it to me don't bring it to me don't send me video that is so Oh, Jesus. Who is calling when I haven't started? Please, sorry. I have to drop that call. I'm not being rude. I have not started. You know, on this topic today, I know a lot of people are going to want to call in. Please don't call in until I say, call in, please. Let us respect ourselves here today. So, okay. Do not send me any video containing nudity or any video that is solemnly meant to downgrade somebody or to bring somebody down i don't do that you can send me a test just talk about it but please don't send me stupid video videos solemnly meant to bring somebody down to rubbish somebody's image especially when you know it is a video a photoshopped video who is calling obviously this person has got something he needs to get she or he needs to get off his chest Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Hi, am I, am I on the show? Yes, you are on the show. Hi, I, um, I heard you talking about the um, um, when um, 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 is married to... When is it um, okay to date a married man or a married yeah. woman? We are just starting. Excuse, sorry, can you... I know there's something you want to get off your chest, but can we go a right. bit further? Can we talk about this first before you come in with I your contribution? Right. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, that line is breaking right there. Please, uh, if you, in case if you're watching, obviously you are. Please, can you just wait? Let's... Let me say something first. I have, we haven't even started. We haven't, you know, we haven't done our prayers. We haven't done anything. I'm just, this is just an introduction right here, okay? So, yeah. So, please wait. Let's talk about this a little bit so that you know where to come in. You know, when is it okay to date a married man or a married woman? Please listen to where I'm going with this before you come in. Okay. All right, let me go there. What was I saying? Please don't send me any video you know, jeez, there are some videos that you just look at and you wonder, even the people who posted such video, people who shared it, I mean, come on, guys. You should know when, a, when anything is made or make up just to bring somebody down and you shouldn't be part of such fallacy. Come on, guys, don't be part of such fallacy because it just show the level of the kind of person you are. It's show your kind of you know who, who are you don't don't share videos you know oh i don't even know the word to use for it for it but, so please don't share it to me you can share on your walls if you deem fit i mean you're your person i can't control you i can only advise you you can share it on your wall you can share it to the people who you know will take pleasure in seeing such video but please don't share it to me right don't share it to me. You should not be and be don't do such, you know, such 
what do I call it? I don't even know what what words to use for them. But please, you know, you know where I'm going with this. Don't share to me stupid video. And this also go to some lunatic, 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 lunatic set of people. Please, if you want to share porn video on Messenger, on WhatsApp, or whatsoever, when you get to B and B number, please keep it. Don't share porn movies, porn videos. You know, stupid senseless non-rewarding videos to me i don't do that please all right when i want to take a look at nudity when i need to see nudity I, if i need to see a female's nudity i take off my clothes and i look at myself in the mirror that is all i need to see to see another woman out there when i need to see that of a man i have a husband i just babe man, man go naked let me see i see anytime i want it so i do not need another person's nudity to see what it is like so please all right so please don't send that to me i don't appreciate that it get me upset and get me want to speak each time i see that all right let's go past that guys all right you all know for some people go ah i got a lot of calls and a lot of messages oh b and b you have to talk about it. i cannot talk about it when it is not the day or the usual day for my live video you understand i do my live video wednesdays and thursday and if i miss any of this day i make up for it on friday if i am chanced to do so right so if it is not wednesday and thursday don't expect me to come live and talk about it simply because every other person is talking about it i don't do that okay and this video let me also say this this video today is not solemnly meant for one person or because of the saga or the drama going on on facebook right now no this is for every other individual out there who think it's okay, who think it is all right for them to do what they do, even when they know it is wrong. So this video is for everybody. I am not measuring anybody's name on this video. For those of you who are expecting me to mention name, no, I'm not going to mention name because this video is not for just one person. It's for every, everybody. So that we don't just, you know, package it and give it to eh. Don't play any football match with whatever I'm going to be saying here. Do not play any football match tagging anybody or, you know, measuring anybody's name is meant for eh, eh, eh. It's for everybody, all right? You know what I always say? Things happen sometimes for us to learn from. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others, all right? Okay, we are going to be talking about this, guys. If you haven't invited anybody yet, invite. Nobody's sharing and nobody has invited anybody yet because I'm not getting any notification that you have done so. Girl, everybody here, because this blondie here today is ready to speak some senses to some medulla oblocanta that needs to hear some senses yes okay let's go there let us pray before we start or oh, usually we play music first before we pray all right there's this music i need to play today sorry guys if you are not an adult person and you don't understand a thing in adult this music is coming up in adult language and this for those who understand what it is. So yeah, bless your soul as you listen to this. Calling, please don't call. I beg you, respect yourself. <laughs> Who they do this one now? We're gonna stop. <laughs> Why? 
Ok. What guys don't call I'm trying to the mute the phone number you're calling is the one I'm using to play this music. Don't do it guys. Please. <laughs> Who is doing this to me? Oh, mm. look, if you like, keep calling. I'm not gonna pick your call. I said, Don't call. I'm playing my music. Don't call. Please hold on. Yes. Oh, oh God. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Is it the speaker that is actually causing this? Okay. I am coming, yeah, so I am Maria. I'm gonna be talking about that. Give me a minute. The first one. Okay, let me play the first one. That, that was it. That's the first one I actually wanted to play. But oh, hey. See, they will not let me play my team. If they see them, we can't be. It's the first one I want to play. You guys wait. I always say I want big married women, but they are always bad. Are you alright? Are you alright? Hey! Hey!
Okay, let us stop it right there and continue. Okay, I'm going to be playing more of this guy music. Okay, for those of you asking who is the singer, the name is Stanley O. Iyonawa. Yes, Stanley O. Iyonawa. I don't know what about that O means, but it's Stanley O. Iyonawa. Go on YouTube, you see it right there. I mean, the, the music I listed, my first time of actually listening to his music, and I love them. Okay, because they make meanings. You know, our Reni, uh, if you're not me, all these Reni musicians, now touch body, touch nyash, and touch breast, where you come, where you come, in a So when I see anyone who, who talks sense like this, you know, like our great Fabomo, Sayomori, Akabama, Oen, and all that, you know what I mean? So yeah. I appreciate them. Okay, before we start, let me pray before I continue. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you. We worship and exalt your holy name. Abba Father, creator of heaven and earth, creator of everything that is good and beautiful. Yes, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. You make them all. Everything's bright and beautiful wonderful you make them all oh lord we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor worship and adoration we are about to talk about to delegate to discuss about this topic of today when is it is it okay to snatch to date to collect a married man or a married woman from his or her husband or wife that is what we are about to discuss oh lord almighty god you is the creator the originator of marriage we call upon your holy name today, Lord, everlasting Father, that you take absolute control of this topic today. That as we speak, oh God, let us speak senses. And for those of them, mighty and everlasting God, the pa, Lord, everlasting Father, those who want to twist your word to their own benefit, mighty God, touch them, let them receive senses today, Lord, in Jesus' name. And for the, those who are trapped in this kind of relationship, who doesn't just feel good enough about themselves to get their own husband or their own wife as such, creating trouble for others who have decided to stay one place, mighty God, touch them. Touch them, O oh God, and create a way forward for them. Let them see a brighter side rather than set to it, settling down for second, second choice in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I pray for the young ones who are about going into marriages right now but are scared of, you know, what the future may bring. Father, Lord, touch them. Give them the courage and the strength to forge ahead. And Lord, those who are choose to follow wrong paths, those negative and evil advice or who see something that is good but advice against it because they wear the same shoe mighty god everlasting father touch them to realize that what is good is good and what is bad is bad in the name of jesus and for all the hypocrite women and men hypocrite women and men who wouldn't want to share their husband or their wife but are clamping for others who are doing such or defending those who are doing such because they themselves are evil 
evil, evil, evil destroyer of marriages who date married men and married women. At such, they know it's bad, though, but because they are in it, they advise people that there is nothing wrong in it. Father, touch them. Touch them, everlasting God. Touch them. The hearts of strong men and strong women are in your hand. Touch them, almighty God, so that they will begin to receive senses after today's topic in the name of Jesus. Teach them what is right and what is good. Because you are the only God that teaches to profit. Hypocrite people who want to hold on to tradition. Tradition say tradition. They are hypocrites, mighty God. You know it. Because they do not obey tradition yet. When it is time for them to quote traditionalism. To favor themselves. They quote it. But they are the ones that do not obey tradition. Father Lord, teach them. To be upright, not to be a Pharisee and Sadducees. Teach them not to be hypocrites. Put them on the right path to leave people's wife and people's husband alone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you like, say amen. If you like, don't. Amen. The prayer I just prayed, I did not pray for God to punish husbands nashas. I prayed that God should touch them for them to leave people husband alone. I did not pray for God to kill wives nasha, wife debtors. Eh? I pray for God to touch them for them to receive senses and leave people's wife alone. That is my prayer. And if you are here, you will shout a big amen. It doesn't matter whether you are part of it or not. Shout a big amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, yeah, so amen. Because the word of God says, There is a way that seemed right before men, but the end is destruction. You understand? There is a way that seemed right before men, but the end is destruction. And for those of you say tradition, whatever tradition you you don't obey that tradition. Why are you so hypocrite? Tradition say, do you obey tradition? You that is trying to quote tradition simply because you are guilty at, you know, you are guilty. You are guilty of the same crime. You are trying to quote tradition. Tradition says, it is Edo tradition. It is this tradition. It is Yoruba tradition. It is an African tradition. Listen, do you obey tradition? Why are you so hypocrite? Do tradition, tradition, tradition allow you to be Share lady, no. In the days of our forefather, listen, I'm telling you guys, if you have not shared, share this video. Because I'm not wasting any time here today. In the days of our forefathers, eh, women are put in their place. Those are the days of tradition. You understand? A woman is not permitted to own a house. A woman who is not married but have children is not regarded in the community. A woman is not allowed to get pregnant unless you are married. Those are our modern, olden days tradition. A woman is not allowed to do pion, 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 from one corner to another. You are regarded as an outcast. Nobody is allowed to associate, associate with you. That is our olden days tradition. A woman, who are you to be a sheer lady of whatever meeting when your husband did not say so? Eh -eh. A woman is not even permitted to talk in the public. Those are our, our forefathers' tradition. See all those who now make up on a Are women allowed to do that? Where you gallant, you travel, you attend one function or the other meeting, you keep late night, you have children out of wedlock. Tradition forbids that. And that is what you're doing. Uh -uh. Tradition says you must be met in your father's house as a virgin. You are not. You have dated and dated and dated. As a matter of fact, nobody's ready to take you as a wife anymore. And now you are ready to devoid other people's marriages. And you come here and quote tradition. A man is allowed to marry as many wives as she deems with. Who? How dare you? You are such an hypocrite. If you want to follow tradition, Follow it to the fullest. Don't be, you want to be a societal lady. So, in the days of our fathers, where tradition is tradition, who are you to be a societal lady? When the men have not finished talking, you are there being a societal lady. Who are you? 
and then you come out here to quote tradition. Do you know what tradition is? Do you know what tradition? In the days of our father, where tradition is tradition. Please, I have not finished talking. Just hold on. A woman is not permitted to say, this is my account, this is my money, this is my house. You know. But now what does everything is happening? Even you that is quoting tradition, you have your accounts, you have your money, you have your house. Tradition. In the days of our forefathers, who are you to wear miniskirts? Eh? Really? You are not allowed to wear miniskirt or sh short neck or whatever it is. Those are tradition. You understand what I'm saying? Did you get? And even during the days of this tradition, there are honorable men who stick to one woman. One woman. Yes, they stick to one woman because they know. They know that if you want to live long, manage what you can afford. You understand? So don't come here being all hypocrite, glamoured, Talking about tradition, tradition say, tradition. Are you? Are you? Don't sound like a traditionalist when you are not one. You are not even close to it. You are not close to it. You want to be a society lady, you jump from one place to another. Pion, 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 pion. Any meeting, any day. Now you day day. She a lady. She a lady. You are here talking about tradition. Seriously? Seriously? Why am I saying all this? There were so many tra traditions. There were so many laws and rules of our tradition that held our forefathers and foremothers backwards. That caged them and killed them. And the new millennial, the new generation says, uh-uh, this is no longer good. We need to change things. Laws were made in their time to suit them, to favor them. And in our time, we say, no, this, not, this is not right. The forefathers are gone. They make the rules and the laws because it favors them. We have to make the one that favor us this time because it is our time. Exactly. And the new millennials are saying, then you come here, you know what is wrong and what is right. Call a spade a spade, and people will respect you for that. Don't come here because you are so naive, so so backward, so frustrated, so egoistic, so self-centered. You see what is wrong and you call it right? Because why? Because your person or your personal person is involved in it. Please, call what is wrong, wrong. Dish it out. This is where you are wrong. This is where you are right. If truly you are a peacemaker, dish it to everyone where they are wrong and where they are right. And let's move forward. Don't come here and start sounding like gallant lady. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Honestly, who are you? Who do you think you are? What do you think you are? You don't bath. Nonsense. Stupid shit lady. Okay. Let's go further. Just like as I was saying. When is it right to date him? I just have to get that out of the way. Okay? When is it right to date a married man or a married woman? Okay. Let us go back to tradition now. Hmm? Tradition at that time. If they had to obey tradition now, tradition that they, not, they did not obey. One man did not satisfy them. Two men did not, did not satisfy them. Three, four, can't. In fact, can't. All the societal guys have entered there and come out. Now they want to come and talk about tradition because they are too gallant. You know, too societal to settle for one man. Hey! And when they started realizing it that, hey, this your gallantness is not going to lead you anywhere. Oh. Ah, they decided, ah, anyone that come along, whether I'm married or not married, you are in for it. And then, when people start talking, they start quoting tradition that they have no idea of. 
You have no idea what tradition is. Do you know what is tradition? Go and do your research and study other. Honestly, do you know what is tradition? Tradition is when, before you serve your husband food, bed, or water, you go on your knee, you knee down, eh? like a slave. Men marry women at that time, just the number of women they have shows how wealthy and rich they were. You understand? But you that want to come and quote traditional, I do not see you anywhere, Nini Dana, serving your any man in your life. That is, if you have a husband, though, I don't see you even Nini Dana to greet, not to talk of serving food or cup of water. No, you are not in anywhere in that category at all. Ha! You, societal reality. You don't know, understand what I'm talking about. So please, when you want to quote tradition, don't quote it because you know that you are guilty as well. Just talk like a matured, gallant lady that you are. Don't come here and start contradicting yourself. When you are in no way, when you in no way fit into that traditionalist category, tradition. I was pissed off like are these people serious tradition do you know what tradition is look are you talking about tradition eh for so many of you eh the men that was in your life you driven them away because you can't tolerate their nonsense and here you are quoting tradition in the days of our mothers and fathers when tradition was tradition if you like make your husband kill you let him kill you he's your lord you stay there if you say put your face down you put your face down you don't go anywhere you don't get married and simply because your husband is treating you back you run back to your father's house or you know divorce separation everywhere i don't want to marry anymore eh and you are here quoting telling me about tradition where is the man that you gave birth to the man you gave birth to his children where, where is him honestly the one you you you, you married to where is him, your husband? Or the one supposedly, you know, the one that was supposed to be your husband. Where is he? Why did you let him go? Perhaps he was cheating on you, or he was misbehaving, or he took you for granted, or he ate your money, which is your money. Do you even have money if, where tradition is concerned? Do you have money? You don't have money as a woman where tradition is concerned. Because you and everything you owe belong to the man. You are practically a slave. Tradition. And here you come out, you that cannot even tolerate, you could not tolerate the man that was in your life because you feel ah, he's treating me bad. When your father treated your mother bad, did your mother run away? No. If your mother was a traditional woman, no, eh, eh, he stayed there. She stayed there. Now you don't want to stay there. You run away, and there you are now, quoting, you are quoting tradition, trying to oppress or mislead. Our young generation, who are you? Why quote tradition when you have no idea? Why quote tradition when you yourself you are in no way you are in no way respecting tradition? If you want to be a traditionalist, I mean, follow you to the focus. Don't be like the hypocrite Christian who take a verse of the Bible that suit them and abolish the rest. You understand? So yes. You are in no way, in no position, <laughs> in no position to come talk about tradition here. Tradition encaged our mothers. Many mothers died when they weren't supposed to die. Many died of high blood pressure, hypertension. Little headache, they are gone. Why? Because they suffered, but they are suffering. Their emotions were not recognized. It was of a no value because they were women. They don't have the right to speak. They couldn't speak against what they don't want. All they are permitted to do is, yes, sir, name, yes, sir, name, your name, your name, and in name, name, lead them to their early grave. They had the hearts, they feel, they cry, but mm -mm, none of these were recognized. And that is the same tradition you want to come and use to. And he, you see all these people, eh? I see them, their daughters in law. The man that we married, their daughters in law, is in trouble. You see all these women coming out quoting, eh, tradition. 
The men that will marry their daughter-in-law, they are trouble. Because I see most of them that is coming out quality tradition. I just look at them and I view them, I read them psychologically. They are trouble, honestly. They are trouble personified. Don't go near them. Don't mess with them. They are always supporting. Hey, tradition. Emma has the right to marry one, two, three, one wife. Why are they not fourth wife? Why are they not third wife? Why are they not second wife as a matter of that fact? Because they wanted to collect the one that was already married. And the mind is right and she said, No, now shop at clean matter can't do. I'm not gonna marry you. And then ah, vest nation, they want to use it to destroy other people's marriage, encouraging the young stars, you know, the young ones go into marriages, destroy, condemn, and they, you know. Do whatever you want to do. It is all right. A man can have many, as many. Go marry their own. Then you will know what you are coming for. You see all those people supporting that fact. A woman can go. You can date. A man has the right. African man has the right. Eh? Try and go to their husband. Or even boyfriend or baby father. Do they, they, they will unleash all the hell in them. I'm telling you. I just view them when they talk. I listen to them and I go, Seriously? You see this these people I'm talking about, eh? Those people who said a man is allowed to marry one wife, marry two wife, three wife, four wife, eh? If they have boyfriend, if they have husband, eh? Try go there. Just try there. Eh? Oh! Hurricane, eh? What was Maria? Hurricane Maria. Now they go unleash. Hurricane Maria. That is the one that will unleash on you. I'm telling you, but hey, they are there pretending. They pretend because they have no choice now but to settle as a second best. They have no choice. Oh, and listen, the truth be told, any woman that go, a man can marry a mother, why would check them, Google them? Mm, yes, research them, investigate them, you will find out that. Is it that they are not married or they are dating a married man? Yes. Is it that they are not married, or they are dating a married man, or the man in their life have refused to take them seriously and they are eyeing somebody else's marriage? Because honestly, no woman in his right in her right senses, no woman who is a married woman, eh, having a husband to herself will encourage that nonsense. I'm telling you, it is the truth. Search them, just search them. Even the ones who were that is whose husband got a second wife without them knowing. Now they are inside. They will not even come out and say it is all right. They will not do that. It is those who are tired, retired whores. Yes. They are tired. They thought they were wise. They thought they were smart. They thought they were so beautiful. There is no beauty as such as theirs. They thought they were so gallant and so, you know, so important that a man is not good enough to have them as a wife they want to chop 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 and clean out before they chop and clean out the one that would have married them have married somebody else now they are old cargoes old cargoes old cargoes some of them are becoming old. some of them are graduating into an old cargo department why some of them are already there some of them are even running out of the old cargo team so now anyone that come you know what they say when the desirable is not available, the available become desirable. Ah! It is true. When the one you desire, what you desire is not forthcoming. Anyone that comes, you will this it become desirable. Man, come. That is what is their problem. Their desirable is not available. So the anyone that is available become their desirable. They desire whatever comes along. Da. It don't, they don't dark for them exactly. Bless you. They don't dark for them. When they were supposed to settle down, they were gallant, gallivanting all over everywhere, tasting everything that is to be tasted, dating all the big men and all the popular men in town. They were busy, enjoying. They said they're too fine. Nothing like them. Nonsense. Popular my foot. 
And then those who deem it fit at their prime stage, they do not look to their beauty. People like us. <laughs> Who do not look to their beauty? Who did not look to their intelligence? They didn't look to their education. They, they said, ah, this one, let me settle down. They did not listen to all this, wish, 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 coming from corner to corner, the toaster's machines. They didn't listen to them. They abandoned all the present and all the expensive gifts. Say, eh, eh, I do not want it, I am taken. Nah, where your son don't go down. And then I your own way, people. Now you are waking up. It is your money. You have to start now. Ah, I cannot, I can, I cannot come, come, come. You are ready to devour. You are ready to go into places where you are not invited or, or welcome. It doesn't concern you. And you have the effrontery, the gods, the temerity, the audacity. To come out and start making it look like it is all right. Just keep quiet, please. Let those people away. I will not be here. Who I will be there. No, be of here. You keep quiet. Let her cry. Don't come out just trying to to make it look like ah, I've done nothing wrong. It is okay. I'm not the one that started it. You might not be the one that started it. Eh? In your case, you might end it. You understand what I'm saying? Did you get me? Because honestly, I don't get it. Like, are you kidding me? Are you alright? Are you alright? When is it okay to date a married man or a married woman? Now let me answer that question. Hmm? Never! It is a two yellow lane. For those of you who, who went to driving school, who know how to drive, who have certificates in driving, not just those who just do, uh, you know, Buwakala driving team to Karemoto teach me for primary school feed. No, those of you actually went to driving school, you know, double yellow lane, right? It is a no parking zone any time of the day, 24 hours, no parking. Where there is two double yellow lane, yeah, you are not allowed to park there anytime at all. Maybe the rules of the road where you are is different, but the rules of the road where I am, where there is two yellow lane double yellow lane on the road you are not permitted to park on that place on that road at any time of the day 24 hours under no circumstances under no circumstances should you park there hmm? okay you now uh, that i just asked when is it all right to date a married man my dear a married man and a married woman is the two double lane. Under no, two double yellow lane, yes. Under no circumstances. No at all, none at all. No time, no day, no hour, no period, no season. Under no circumstances, whether you are dying or living, should you pack the, should you venture a married man or a married woman? Don't. It is a no-go area. Never back in area, no go area. That is what a married man and a married woman is. But there are some people who are disobedient. Those people who do not obey the rules of the country they are, neither do they obey the rules of the road. They will park there. Those are the kind of people that police will arrest. Those are the kind of cars that are clamped. Those are the kind of people whose their car is a pound. They pound your car, they collect your car from you. If you are not careful, they collect your license from you or give you a penalty point on your license because you disobey the rules. On that, if you like, say your picky was sick, was vomiting, you are not allowed to park there. La, 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 la. Your time is escalating. You know, no time on your side. You are reaching menopause as a man. Your thing is not begin, beginning to function less than it used to be. You need to say, you need to, you know, no woman is attractive enough for you except a married woman. My dear, it is a double yellow lane. Do not park there. Do not venture. Do not stop there. Keep going. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do not stop. 
do not stop. It is a continuous, just keep, it's a flow area. Keep going, keep going. It is a no-stop area. A married man or a married woman is a non-stop area. Don't stop there. Don't ask for friendship. If they ask you for friendship, ignore them. Uh, you know them two double yellow lane. There might be some space is good enough to park. Ah, all the parking space are taken. Oh, your car is breaking down. This place is very good to park. But there is a double yellow lane there. As attractive as it might be, no matter how attractive the man is or the woman is, as long as he's married, don't let them entice you. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't lose focus. Don't lose hope in yourself. Like, my time is running out. Well, you run. I told you guys the other time, time is wealth. Health and time is wealth. When you use your time anyhow, eh? Time you are supposed to invest, you do not invest. You are just wasting it. You will, is you, you will have yourself to blame. So, yes, when you are supposed to get married, you refuse to get married. The one coming up to you are not good enough. You are looking for a ready made. Ah, Katerian, no problem. Continue. Continue. But the end shall tell. The end shall tell. When it is okay to date a married man or a married woman, never. It is a no no. It is never okay. It is never acceptable. There is no that. Listen. Tradition says tradition this. Let me go back there. When God, who is the originator of marriage, when God created the world, even your forefathers, he created Adam and he gave him Eve. One. You think God is not wise? He wouldn't have. For those of you, listen, and for those who are quoting Bibles, Solomon has also a many wives. Abraham did this. This one did that. Let me tell you. Just like I said, if you don't know anything about tradition, don't go there. You see those days, those Old Testament that you are quoting, there is a reason why the New Testament was created. In the days of Abraham, Solomon, and Isaac, or that, that you want to quote, that have a many wife, let me tell you, they die whenever they fall short. When God wants to kill them, he do not have mercy. He do not look back. Those were the days of Ananias and Sapphiras. Simple lie. What actually belonged to them? It was their property. They sold it. They did not want to say how much they said they sold it. They died instantly. Those were the days where there were no mercy. No mercy. It was an eye for an eye. Days. Huh? The days where... Cain was punished instantly for killing his brother. Yes. The days where you get punished instantly. You reap your punishment instantly as you go. The days where people are stoned to death when they are found committing adultery or even fornication. They are stoned to death instantly. Those are the days you want to bring here now. Really? Really? Seriously? Did you even study what happened those days? How people were judged? How people were crucified? How people were destroyed out of a little tiny mistake that they fed to eat to? The days where God said, take this thing to a place and you, you, you miss a step. You are turned into an animal to live in the desert for a very long years. Those days that you, those are the days that you want to talk about? Please, oh. When Jesus came, he knew that the Old Testament, which is your tradition now, the Old Testament, Jesus saw that the Old Testament was something that was so difficult. He saw that, listen, these people will perish if we continue like this because the law was too difficult for the people to obey. Ah, the law, many people were falling short by the day and they were dying by the day. He saw that, hey, this is too much. He came with the Old Testament. And then he said, during the time of Moses, Moses said, eye for an eye. But I'm telling you these days, how many times will your brother sin against you before you? Uh -uh. 
Moses said, if you are caught in the act of adultery, stone to death. But Jesus came and said, no. Let this person have the second chance to repent. And here you are quoting Old Testament for me. Are you all right? Are you okay? You want to go to heaven, but you don't want to die. You want to live by the Old Testament, but you don't want to follow the rules of the Old Testament. You misbehave up and down. Men have the right to marry any women. Eh, tradition. Those traditions were those days when your fathers, it is family. You, know, you, you cannot even go to ordinary hand work. Not talk of family job. Eh? Come on, hand work. You have not. Men have become married men and married women have become your hand work. She throws. Hmm? You are dating sugar daddies, sugar mummies all over every corner. Those have become your handwork. Four fathers day, the tradition you are quoting. Now farming thing. It was a farming thing. Men go to farm. They don't give their wives money. It's a portion of land. You that is coming out now to talk about tradition. I don't even see you. Where, where, eh, eh, seriously, I don't even see you doing any hand work perfectly well. Not to talk of you farming or marrying to a man who already have how many wives just to go and farm and give you a portion of land to feed you, yourself, and your children throughout the whole year. And you are here talking rubbish. We are trying to abolish something who have, you know, something that have destroyed so many women for so many years and here you are trying to bring it on board simply because you wear the shoes simply because you fall in the same categories of husband snatchers home destroyers what are we talking in, talking here uh -uh. Uh -uh. seriously we are talking about holding days where men were so lazy honestly holding days eh? men most of them were lazy they bone and bone and they give birth and give birth. They produce children and produce children. All they do is give their wife a portion of land. Ah, you and your children. Farm. Farm on it. You know, it is whatever the crops, whatever resources that come out of that farming, that is what you and your children will live on till the next farming season. And many women die. Many women, many of you said we are giving birth to inside farm. Eh? Many of you, we are giving birth to in the middle of farm. Many of you are there seki. They gave birth to you in the middle of the market. Ugbo, they gave birth to you inside the farm. Are they so there? They gave birth to you on the road. While your parents probably were hawking, or they were on the road going to the farm. Or they get back to you in the middle of the farm or in the middle of the market. Adeseki, Adesubo, Adesode. Check out why they were named like that. Stress, stress, traditional stress is what led to that. And you are here. Life was okay then. Who told you? How many of you went to school then? Life was okay then. We have so many literates today because. That traditional life did not permit their parents to train them in school properly. Where men get better, how many children get married so many wives when they cannot even take care of their first wife and train the first children to school. They can't. They get better so many. Now, it is the battle of the fittest. Just feed yourself. We are not talking about education here. There you are there. Then was better. Who told you then was better? Many of you are in Europe. Then did you know the road to Europe? Let us hang that one there and let's go to the next level why should you not date a married man let me start it before i start with the people back home there in africa i'm going to talk about the people here in europe the truth being said for those of you who married here in europe when your husband is already settled your husband have everything going on for them. Actually, as a matter of fact, it is because of your husband you have documents. It is because of your husband you have everything you have. Your husband is the one that labored for you to be established. Who does to you? You are lucky. But that notwithstanding, nobody should take your husband from you. But for so many, let me tell you. Hmm? You hear that music that we played? As if you did not see it. Many labored with their husband. Many met their husband here when they were not in Agadare. The same people you would have rejected when they were in Africa. 
Let a common person come to you in Africa who has no job, has no nothing to account for. No car, no job, no house of He doesn't even have a room in his father's or his mother's house. Nothing at all. When they come to you, say, eh, not me one friend, that one. That is Nigerian or Africa as a whole at large. You don't have anything to offer them. What, what would they be doing with you? How are you going to take care of them? That is the first question they will ask you. How are you going to take care of me? And if we get married, how are you going to take care of me? But let me tell you, European women don't ask such questions. How are you going to take care of me? It is how are we going to move forward? What should we do? Is we, not you, me, you, me. Is we business. You understand? European women fight with their husband. They struggle with their husband. They hustle with their husband. They fight for their husband. They stand with their husband. They do everything possible to make sure their husband is established here in Europe. And now, you that is there, waiting for an already mate, not ready to give an eye you are not ready to even blink at somebody who is not established yet. You will not come and say, you have the right. Eh? I have the right. You want die. You want die. Eh? Death, don't they hungry you? Honestly, you want to go untimely. I'm telling you. Because if you have this simplest idea, what women go through to make this man, men enough, to even be enough to come and toast you according to the category of the men you want you will back off you will back off i swear most of the time let in fact all the time let's be realistic here europe women don't wait for their husband to come and buy them shoe to come and buy them bag to come and buy them lace to come and buy them jewelries buy them the latest whatever mm -mm, they don't do that they work for themselves because you know why yeah in this part of this world part of the world where we live here we believe in working hard for yourself not being dependent on anybody including your husband you work hard for yourself that is what they teach everybody here once a child is come of age you don't have to depend on your parents you as a parent as a husband and wife you work hard to be where you want to be, not depending. What are we eating today? Bring money for food. Bring money for petrol. Bring money for this. Buy me car. Buy me this. Buy me lace. Christmas is coming. Come and buy me clothes. Eh -eh. Unlike you all in Africa, that is what you do. When Christmas is coming, the man have to buy you Christmas clothes, buy you shoe, buy you this, buy you presents. How many? Here in Europe. We've forgotten. A lot of women have forgotten how it is, how it feels like for a man to even just go out and buy them presents. Why? Because they can afford it themselves. They don't put that stress on their wives. There are some of them oh, who are here in Europe. When they talk nonsense, I just know, okay, you are this type. Perhaps, you know, God just favored them. The man that is already established, take them on board. So, yeah, they will not understand. They will not understand that most women who are married in Europe fight hard for what they want. Not you just lazy in the bar sitting there. Eh? You are sitting there, buy me the latest phone. Hey, allergy. Hey, pa. Hey, pa, domo. You are looking for somebody husband to go and be domo him. Domo, sir. Domo, sir. Because you are looking for something you want to get. You see all those flashy cars, these men come home to flash in your faces. African women. Eh? Oh, Lord. Now, strong labor between the man and his wife. It was a total cooperation. They work hard for it. So, the Bible says, I will not say you will not, you will build the vineyard and you will inhabit it. He said, You will not labor and another person inherit or enjoy your labor. That is the word of God. So, you now, because you get feathers. Eh? Hey. You get seven heads. You go come. You want come reap for where you know so. You go die put. Honestly, you go die put. Because why? The word of God says, I will not labor and I know that come and inherit it or enjoy it. Who can battle with the Lord? 
Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Yeah, we say all those who na kurukere wa kona de waka for there. We na know where they use ugwegere a cover husband. Ah! Ugwegere get super glue. Does ugwegere have aka gum? There is a cover that has an aka gum here that the women here have come to know that they used to cover their husband and their wives. Let me tell you, if you know any man who support all those rubbish as well, eh? all those men go, eh, what is it? A man can check them all. They are either irresponsible men, or they are not married, or their wife don't push them, put for her side. So now, they are ready to vent their anger. Let me pick this call. I'm not ready to. I, it's not time to call in yet, but I'm going to pick this call. Let me see. Anybody that just called me to talk nonsense here yeah, and appear and come and cut you. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening, ma. Good Hello. evening. You are welcome on board. I know. I don't want to speak English. Oh, yeah. Speak what you want to speak with the year. Where do you do this? I do this for that that woman who is saying her name like you need. I felt that you say not mention anybody name. Just talk generally, cause this message is not only for you need. Neither is it for the Frances or the Sandra, whatever. It's for everybody. You understand? Mm -hmm. My own father married twice. Okay. 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 You are lucky. Why did they pay me for this issue? Eh? Even if they have with your daughter, follow that man, marry, you want marry the follow the woman, marry the woman. When she go open up, smell it, that's not tell that man, make up their voice, our wife, the wife. She know, you know, when the woman they pass through for you, like me now, all the way that the woman has been to have this year, all the way this watch. I go, I go, but that boy, we should say, 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 We don't hear you. Let me, let me, there is a comment I need to answer to. Let me answer to this comment before I block this person. You know, I don't normally block people on my show, but I'm going to block this person now. But before I block you, I'm not just going to block you without me giving you a piece of little advice that will last you a lifetime. You know, it will last you a lifetime. Is the person of uh, Anie for Oria, whatever that name is, whatever it means. This person said, why are you using stupid, shameless women in Europe to come? Why are you using stupid, shameless women in Europe to compare African women? What type of work are you do? Are you working? Stop calling the name of God. All right. Let me tell you now. Women in, women in Europe. I'm going to answer you and then I'll advise you before I block you. Women in Europe. Women in Africa women are women but there are some women who are extra super women when it comes to fulfilling their obligations to their husband you know when the word of god says a woman is a helper to the husband right when he made create adam and then he looked at him and he said it will be better for him to have a helper and then he creates eve you see european women they help their husband but the truth be told, most African women depend on their husband. They collect from their husband. They are, they are collectors. European women are contributors. Why African women, most of them, not all, pardon me. Most of African women are collectors. Why 
Almost all the European women are contributors. They contribute to their husbands in one way or the other. But in Africa, they call it, it is a gimme gimme thing. Listen, I was once in Africa. And for you, you saying, why you, you are trying to be, you, 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 in fact, up there, you are shallow. For you to even use that word, why are you using stupid, shameless women in Europe? These women in Europe, perhaps you do not have a sister in Europe. Or if you have a sister relation in Europe, I am sure you wouldn't use that word. You wouldn't call every woman in Europe shameless and stupid. And for you saying, which work are you working? Let me tell you, come to Europe. We work in the bank. We work in big, uh, big establishments. We work in Europe. You understand? We work in an establishment where you can only dream of working in Africa. In Europe, yeah, we work there. Forget all the nonsense you hear. It is not what wrong bawa and not here doing bawa. She understand? Yes. So yeah, one person, people, set of people do a certain job because maybe they haven't got the right papers or whatsoever to do a proper job. Doesn't mean that everybody in Europe is like that. So yes, for the next time, even the school your parents refused to train you to there in Africa, people in Europe here. Yeah. They are going to that school. School that you can only dream of, you cannot afford. You understand what I'm saying? The education you can only imagine in your wildest imagination. People are getting it here in Europe. So when next, when next you want to talk to European women, please, I beg you in the name of God, attain some respect. And please, describe them. Attach some respect to their name. And stop all this, your nonsense uneducated comments and contribution so yeah i haven't given you that piece of uh, uh, information and advice to next time you know describe them with some respect i'm gonna block you right now under one condition will i not block you if you give me a reason not to if you give what was his name again something i mean whatever uh, uh, yeah, whatever on that one condition, will I not block you? I'm waiting to see your name, see your comment again. Then I will block you. So if you don't want me to block you, give me a reason where I, I will not block you because I'm blocking you right now. If I see your stupid comment again here, yeah, because obviously you are talking from the bottom part of your body, not from the upper side. You understand? Good. Let's go there. Just like I said, European women are contributors. They contribute to their husband's wealth. They contribute to their husband's establishment. They contribute to their husband's well-being and welfare. Born African women, men, we are there, except for our mothers and some strong ones these days who married in the irresponsible African men as well, who have to, they are the ones struggling to take care of their children. They go to the market, they sell, they buy, they farm, they do everything possible, exempt those ones. But all these new millennium guests, eh? They are collectors. Give me, give me. Eh? Buy me clothes. Buy me this. Give me this. Give my mama this. Give my papa this. My father need this. My mother need this. I need this. The children need this. But in Europe, my dear, who no go? No, no. Perhaps you are not in Europe. Perhaps you have never been in a very good relationship. Those women who stay eh, like us, I may go and ask questions. Eh? Who stay and say, eh, eh, this is my own. Wherever you go, I go. We stand. We fight. We walk. We do everything in our powers to make sure they are established. So yeah, we are contributor. We are not a devourer. Get it straight. So where is him again? Is he he or she? Please oh, write a comment again because I need to block you right now. I'm going to block you. Except you give me one good reason why I should not block you. I know you were in your own opinion, but your opinion is as stupid as what came out of your mouth. So it's not welcome here. All right? So come up with a comment again so that I can block you. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to block you because I can't. That other comment you brought up is gone. So I'm observing my observing mood, observation mood is activated right now to see you and block you out of here. Okay, let's go forward. Let's go there because so many people they don't know they need to be educated. All right, let's move forward. Now, let us imagine this now a woman. Who stood by her husband? Who did everything? Who even, she, she, oh my God, she deprived herself of so many things.
for her husband to stand. Ah ah, now they do gallant women there, up and down, society women. They look for who carry jeep, carry the latest rainy whatever. Oh, now go jump at her front. Why this one is back here, doing everything possible to make sure say her husband stand tall and missed, her, uh, missed his friends. He wants her, she wants her husband to stand tall whenever she is among his friends. And then you come here to say, hey, this is that. Hey, man is a lot of, you know marry, ta, you go marry him under six feet, I tell you. And he get easy, why? You will go marry her, six feet under. You are not going to marry. If you want to marry, wait. See, the wife say, okay, I know they do again. You know, go. You understand? Wait, let the marriage be over. Under what condition will a married man be married? A married man, you can will a married man be dated? You can never date a married man unless when he's divorced. He's no longer married. Marry a man who is the, once married and divorced. Ma date a woman who was once married but divorced. You understand? Then it becomes your property is free. He is free for you to carry. I mean, who get and don't chop and spit them out as a woman or as a man? Carry if you want to carry. But never, ever make the mistake of dating a married man or a married woman. Guma, cause God Himself will kill you. Honestly, God will kill you. God will kill you if you do so. Eh? If you like, no all the kurukere where then they waka the place where your papa, your mama waka pa pass. <laughs>
why are you using stupid shameless women in europe these women in europe perhaps you do not have a sister in europe or if you have a sister a relation in europe i am sure you wouldn't use that word you wouldn't call every woman in europe shameless and stupid and for you say which work are you working let me tell you come to europe we work in the bank we bank. you work hard for yourself that is what they teach everybody here. Once a child is come of age, you don't have to depend on your parents. You as a parent, as a husband and wife, you work hard to be where you want to be. Not depending. What are we eating today? Bring money for food. Bring money for petrol. Bring money for this. Buy me car. Buy me this. Buy me lace. Christmas is coming. Come and buy me clothes. Hey, hey. Unlike you all in Africa, that is what you do. When Christmas is coming, the man have to buy you Christmas clothes, buy you shoes, buy you this, buy you presents. How many? Here in Europe, we've forgotten. A lot of women have forgotten how it is, how it is like for a man to even just go out and buy them presents. Why? Because they can afford it themselves. They don't put that stress on their wives. There are some of them who... Who are here in Europe when they talk nonsense? I just know, okay, you are this type. Perhaps, you know, God just favored them. The man that is already established, take them on board. So, yeah, they will not understand. They will not understand that most women who are married in Europe fight hard for what they want. Not you just lazy in a bar sitting there. Eh? You are sitting there, buy me the latest phone. Hey, allergy. Hey, pa. Hey, pardon, you are looking for somebody husband to go and be dumb on him. Dumb on sir. Dumb on sir. Because you are looking for something you want to get. You see all those flashy cars, these men come home to flash in your faces. African women. Eh? Oh, Lord. Now, strong labor between the man and his wife. It was a total cooperation. They work hard for it. So, the Bible says, I will not say you will not... You will build the vineyard and you will inhabit it. He said you will not labor and another person inherit or enjoy your labor. That is the word of God. So do now because you get feathers. Eh? Mm. Hey. You get seven heads. You go come. You want to reap for where you know so. You go die put. Honestly, you go die put. Because why? The word of God says. I will not labor and another come and inherit it or enjoy it. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Yeah, you say all those who na kurukere wakona de waka for there. Who na know where they use ugwegere they cover husband. Ah, ugwegere get super glue. Does ugwegere have aka gum? There is a cover that has an aka gum here that the women here have come to know that they used to cover their first children to school. They can't. They gave birth to so many. Now, it is the battle of the fittest. Just feed yourself. We are not talking about education here. Then you are there. Then was better. Who told you then was better? Many of you are in Europe. Then did you know the road to Europe? Let us hang that one there and let's go to the next level. Why should you not date a married man? Let me start it. Before I start with the people back home there in Africa, I'm going to talk about the people here in Europe. The truth being said. For those of you who married here in Europe, when your husband is already settled, your husband have everything going on for them. Actually, as a matter of fact, it is because of your husband you have document. It is because of your husband you have everything you have. Your husband is the one that labored for you to be established. Who does to you? You are lucky. But that notwithstanding, nobody should take your husband from you. But for so many, let me tell you. Hmm? You hear that music that we played? As if you did not see it. Many labored with their husband. Many met their husband here when they were not in Agadare. The same people you would have rejected when they were in Africa. Let a common person come to you in Africa who has no job, has no nothing to account for. No car, no job, no house of... He doesn't even have a room in his father's or his mother's house. Nothing at all. 
when they come to you say eh na me one friend that one that is nigerian or africa as a whole at large you don't have anything to offer them what what would they be doing with you how are you going to take care of them that is the first question they will ask you how are you going to take care of me and if we get married how are you going to take care of me but let me tell you european women don't ask such question how are you going to take care of me it is how are we going to move forward what should we do is we not you me you me is we business you understand european women fight with their husband they struggle with their husband they hustle with their husband they fight for their husband they stand with their husband they do everything possible to make sure their husband is established here in europe and now you that is there waiting for an already mate not ready to give an eye you are not ready to even blink at somebody who is not established yet. You will not come and say, you have the right. Eh, eh, the right. Eh, ne, 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 ne. You want that. Ah. You want that. Eh? Death, don't they hungry you? Honestly. You want to, uh, uh, information and advice to next time, you know, describe them with some respect. I'm going to block you right now under one condition will i not block you if you give me a reason not to if you give what was his name again something i mean whatever uh, uh, yeah, whatever under one condition will i not block you i'm waiting to see your name see your comment again then i will block you so if you don't want me to block you give me a reason where i, I will not block you because i'm blocking you right now if I see your stupid comment again here, yeah, because obviously you are talking from the bottom part of your body, not from the upper side. You understand? Good. Let's go there. Just like I said, European women are contributors. They contribute to their husband's wealth. They contribute to their husband's establishment. They contribute to their husband's well-being and welfare. Born African women, men, we are there, except for our mothers and some strong ones these days who married in the irresponsible African men as well, who have to, they are the ones struggling to take care of their children. They go to the market, they sell, they buy, they farm, they do everything possible, exempt those ones. But all these new millennium guests, eh? they are collectors, give me, give me, eh? buy me clothes, buy me this. Give me this. Give my mama this. Give my papa this. My father need this. My mother need this. I need this. The children need this. But in Europe, my dear, who no go, no, no. Perhaps you are not in Europe. Perhaps you have never been in a very good relationship. Those women who stay eh, like us, I may go and ask questions. Eh? Who stay and say, eh, eh, this is my own. Wherever you go, I go. We stand. We fight. We walk. We do everything in our powers to make sure they are established. So, yeah, we are contributor. We are not a devourer. Get it straight. So, where is him again? Is he he or she? Please, oh, write a comment again because I need to block you right now. I'm going to block you. Except you give me one good reason why I should not block you. I know you were airing your own opinion, but your opinion is as stupid as what came out of your mouth. So, it's not welcome here. All right? So, come up with a comment again so that I can block you. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to block you because I can't. That other comment you brought up is gone. So I'm observing. My observing mood, observation mood is activated right now to see you and block you out of here. Okay, let's go forward. Let's go there because so many people they don't know they need to be educated. All right, let's move forward. Now let us imagine this now. A woman. Who stood by her husband? Who did everything? Who even, he, she, she, oh my God, she deprived us. Already have how many wives just to go and farm and give you a portion of land to feed you, yourself, and your children? Throughout the whole year. And you are here talking rubbish. We are trying to abolish something who have, you know, something that have destroyed so many women for so many years and yet you are trying to bring it on board simply because you wear the shoes simply because you fall in the same categories of husband snatchers home destroyers what are we talking in, talking here uh -uh. Uh -uh. seriously 
We are talking about holding days where men were so lazy. Honestly, holding days, eh? Men, most of them were lazy. They born and born and they give birth and give birth. They produce children and produce children. All they do is give their wife a portion of land. Ah, you and your children. Farm. Farm on it. You know, it is whatever the crops, whatever resources that come out of that farming, that is what you and your children will live on till the next farming season. And many women die. Many women, many of you said we are giving birth to inside farm. Eh? Many of you, we are giving birth to in the middle of farm. Many of you are there, Seki. They gave birth to you in the middle of the market. Ugbo, they gave birth to you inside the farm. Are they so there? They gave birth to you on the road. While your parents probably were hawking, or they were on the road going to the farm. Or they get back to you in the middle of the farm or in the middle of the market. Are they sexy? Are they subo? Are they so there? Check out why they were named like that. Stress. Stress. Traditional stress is what led to that. And you are here. Life was okay. Then who told you? How many of you went to school then? Life was okay then. We have so many literates today because... That traditional life did not permit their parents to train them in school properly. Where men get better, how many children get married so many wives when they cannot even take care of their first wife and train the first children to school. They can't. They get better so many. Now, it is the battle of the fittest. Just feed yourself. We are not talking about education here. Then you are there, then was better. Who told you then was better? Many of you are in Europe. Then did you know the road to Europe? Let us hang that one there and let's go to the next level why should you not date a married man let me start it before i start with the people back home there in africa i'm going to talk about the people here in europe the truth being said for those of you who married here in europe when your husband is already set this is not right the forefathers are gone. They make the rules and the laws because it favors them. We have to make the one that favor us this time because it is our time. Exactly. And the people are going to be able to you know what is wrong and what is right. Call a spade a spade. And people will respect you for that. Don't come here because you are so naive, so so backward, so frustrated, so egoistic, so self-centered. You see what is wrong and you call it right? Because why? Because your person or your personal person is involved in it? Please. Call what is wrong, wrong. Dish it out. This is where you are wrong. This is where you are right. If truly you are a peacemaker, dish it to everyone where they are wrong and where they are right. And let's move forward. Don't come here and start sounding like gallant lady. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Honestly, who are you? Who do you think you are? What do you think you are? You don't bath. Nonsense. Stupid shit lady. Okay. Let's go further. Just like as I was saying, when is it right to date him? I just have to get that out of the way. Okay? When is it right to date a married man or a married woman? Okay. Let us go back to tradition now. Hmm? Tradition at that time, if they have to obey tradition now, tradition that they, not, they did not obey. One man did not satisfy them. Two men did not, did not satisfy them. Three, four, can't. In fact, can't. All the societal guys have entered there and come out. Now they want to come and talk about tradition because they are too gallant. You know, too societal to settle for one man. Eh? And when they started realizing it that, eh, this your gallantness is not going to lead you anywhere. Oh. Ah, they decided, ah, anyone that come along, whether married or not married, you are in for it. And then, when people start talking, they start quoting tradition that they have no idea of. 
You have no idea what tradition is. Do you know what is tradition? Go and do your research and study other. Honestly, do you know what is tradition? Tradition is when, before you serve your husband food, bed, or water, you go on your knee, you knee down, eh? like a slave. Men, women, who are extra, super women, when it comes to fulfilling their obligations to their husband. You know when the word of God says, a woman is a helper. To the husband right when he made create adam and then he looked at him and he said it will be better for him to have a helper and then he creates eve you see european women they help their husband but the truth be told most african women depend on their husband they collect from their husband they are they are collectors european women are contributors why african women most of them not all pardon me most of African women are collectors. Why? Almost all the European women are contributors. They contribute to their husbands in one way or the other. But in Africa, they collect. It is a gimme gimme thing. Listen, I was once in Africa, and for you, you saying why you see, you are trying to be you you you. In fact, up there you are shallow. For you to even use that word. Why are you using stupid, shameless women in Europe? These women in Europe, perhaps you do not have a sister in Europe. Or if you have a sister a relation in Europe, I am sure you wouldn't use that word. You wouldn't call every woman in Europe shameless and stupid. And for you saying, which work are you working? Let me tell you, come to Europe. We work in the bank. We work in big, uh, big establishments. We work in Europe. You understand? We work in an establishment where you can only dream of working in Africa. In Europe, yeah, we work there. Forget all the nonsense you hear. It is not what Bawa and doing Bawa. She understand? Yes. So yeah, one person, so certain people do a certain job because maybe they haven't got the right papers or whatsoever to do a proper job. Doesn't mean that everybody in Europe is like that. So yes. For the next time, even the school your parents refused to train you to there in Africa, people in Europe here, they are going to that school. School that you can only dream of, you cannot afford. You understand what I'm saying? The education you can only imagine in your wildest imagination. People are getting it here in Europe. So when next, when next you want to talk to European women, please I beg you in the name of God, attain some respect and please describe them attach some respect to their name and stop all this your nonsense uneducated comments and contribution so yeah i haven't given you that piece of uh, uh, information and advice to next time you know describe them with some respect i'm gonna block you right now under one condition today is ready to speak some senses to some medulla oblocanta that needs to hear some senses. Yes. Okay. Let's go there. Let us pray before we start. Or oh, usually we play music first before we pray. All right. There's this music I need to play today. Sorry, guys, if you are not an adult person and you don't understand a thing in adult. This music is coming up in a do language and this for those who understand what it is. So yeah, bless your soul as you listen to this. Calling, please don't call. I beg you, respect yourself. Oh. Who they do this one now? Who must stop? Why? 
Alright. <laughs> okay. What guys don't call I'm trying to the mute the phone number you're calling is the one I'm using to play this music. Don't do it guys. Who is doing this to me? Oh, mm. look, if you'd like, keep calling. I'm not gonna pick your call. I said, Don't call. I'm playing my music. Don't call. Please hold on. Yes. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, let us stop it right there and continue. Okay, I'm going to be playing more of this guy music. Okay, for those of you asking who is the singer, the name is Stanley O. Iyonawa. Yes, Stanley O. Iyonawa. I don't know what about that O means, but it's Stanley O. Iyonawa. Go on YouTube, you see it right there. I mean, the, the music I listed, my first time of actually listening to his music, and I love them. Okay, because they make meanings. You know, our Reni, if you're Reni, me and all these Reni musicians, na touch body, touch nyash, and touch breast, wege kun, wege kun, inya iwaji. So, when I see anyone who, who talks sense like this, you know, like our great Fabomo, Sayomori, Akabama, Oen, and all that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I appreciate them. Okay, before we start, let me pray before I continue. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you. We worship and exalt your holy name. Abba Father, creator of heaven and earth, creator of everything that is good and beautiful. Yes, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. You make them all. Everything's bright and beautiful wonderful you make them all oh lord we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor worship and adoration we are about to talk about to delegate to discuss about this topic of to please listen to where i'm going with this before you come in okay all right let me go there what was i saying please don't send me any video you know jeez there are some video that you just look at and you wonder even the people who posted such video people who shared it i mean come on guys you should know when it, when anything is made or make up just to bring somebody down and you shouldn't be part of such fallacy come on guys don't be part of such fallacy because it just show the level of the kind of person you are it show your kind of you know who, who are you don't don't share videos you know oh i don't even know the word to use for it for it but, so please don't share it to me you can share on your walls if you deem fit i mean you're your person i can't control you i can only advise you you can share it on your wall you can share it to the people who you know will take pleasure in seeing such video but please don't share it to me right don't share it to me you should not be and be don't do such you know such what do i call it i don't even know what what was to use for them but please you know you know where i'm going with this don't share to me stupid video and this also go to some lunatic 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 set of people please if you want to share porn video on messenger on whatsapp or whatsoever when you get to b and b number please keep it don't share porn movies porn videos you know stupid senseless non-rewarding videos to me i don't do that please all right when i want to take a look at nudity when i need to see nudity I, if i need to see a female's nudity i take off my clothes and i look at myself in the mirror that is all i need to see to see another woman out there when i need to see that of a man i have a husband i just babe man, man go naked let me see i see anytime i want it so i do not need another person's nudity to see what it is like so please all right so please don't send that to me i don't appreciate that it get me upset and get me want to speak each time i see that all right let's go past that guys all right you all know for some people go ah i got a lot of calls and a lot of messages oh b and b you have to talk about it. i cannot talk about it when it is not the day or the usual day for my life video 
You understand? I do my live video Wednesdays and Thursday. And if I miss any of this day, I make up for it on Friday if I am chanced to do so. Right? So if it is not Wednesday and Thursday, don't expect me to come in cage our mothers. Many mothers died when they weren't supposed to die. Many died of high blood pressure, hypertension, little headache, they are gone. Why? Because they suffered, but they are suffering. Their emotions were not recognized. It was of a no value because they were women. They don't have the right to speak. They couldn't speak against what they don't want. All they are permitted to do is, yes, sir, name, yes, sir, name, your name, your name, and in name, name, lead them to their early grave. They had the hearts. They feel. They cry. But mm -mm, none of these were recognized. And that is the same tradition you want to come and use to. And he, you see all these people, eh? I see them, their daughters in law. The man that we married, their daughters in law is in trouble. You see all these women coming at court. In, eh, tradition. The men that we married, their daughter in law. Mo could I not go near them? Oh, they are trouble. Because. I see most of that that is coming out quoted tradition. I just look at them and I view them. I read them psychologically. They are trouble, honestly. They are trouble personified. Don't go near them. Don't mess with them. They are always supporting. Hey, tradition. Emma has the right to marry one, two, three, one wife. Why are they not fourth wife? Why are they not third wife? Why are they not second wife as a matter of that fact? Because they wanted to collect the one that was already married. And the man is right and he said, No, now shop at climate, I can't do I'm not gonna marry you. And then ah, this nation, they want to use it to destroy other people's marriage, encouraging the young stars, you know, the young ones, go into marriages, destroy, condemn, and they, you know. Do whatever you want to do. It is all right. A man can have many, as many. Go marry their own. Then you will know what you are coming for. You see all those people supporting that fact. A woman can go. You can date. A man has the right. African man has the right. Eh? Try and go to their husband. Or even boyfriend or baby father. You, they, they, they will unleash all the hell in them. I'm telling you. I just view them when they talk. I listen to them and I go, Seriously? You see this these people I'm talking about, eh? Those people who said a man is allowed to marry one wife, marry two wife, three wife, four wife, eh? If they have boyfriend, if they have husband, eh? Try go there. Just try there. Eh? Oh! Hurricane, eh? What was Maria? Hurricane Maria. Neither go on with anybody yet because I'm not getting any notification that you have done so. Girl, everybody here because this blondie here today is ready to speak some senses to some medulla oblocanta that needs to hear some senses. Yes. Okay. Let's go there. Let us pray before we start. Or oh, usually we play music first before we pray. All right. There's this music I need to play today. Sorry, guys, if you are not an Edo person and you don't understand a thing in Edo, this music is coming up in Edo language and it's for those who understand what it is. So, yeah, bless your soul as you listen to this. Who is calling? Please don't call. I beg you. Respect yourself. Uh, who they do this one now? We must stop. Why? Why? 
What guys don't call I'm trying to the mute the phone number you're calling is the one I'm using to play this music. Don't do it guys. Please. <laughs> Who is doing this to me? Oh, mm. look, if you'd like, keep calling. I'm not gonna pick your call. I said, Don't call. I'm playing my music. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't lose focus, don't lose hope in yourself. Like, my time is running out. Well, you run. I told you guys the other time, time is wealth. Health and time is wealth. When you use your time, anyhow, eh? Time you are supposed to invest, you do not invest. You are just wasting it. You will, is you, you will have yourself to blame. So, yes, when you are supposed to get married, you refuse to get married. The one coming up to you are not good enough. You are looking for a ready-made. Ah, Katerian, no problem. Continue. Continue. But the end shall tell. The end shall tell. When it is okay to date a married man or a married woman, never. It is a no-no. It is never okay. It is never acceptable. There is no that. Listen. Tradition says tradition this. Let me go back there. When God, who is the originator of marriage, when God created the world, even your forefathers, he created Adam and he gave him Eve. One. You think God is not wise? He wouldn't have. For those of you, listen, and for those who are quoting Bibles, Solomon has also a many wives. Abraham did this. This one did that. Let me tell you. Just like I said, if you don't know anything about tradition, don't go there. You see those days, those Old Testament that you are quoting, there is a reason why the New Testament was created. In the days of Abraham, Solomon, and Isaac, or that, that you want to quote, that have a many wife, let me tell you, they die whenever they fall short. When God wants to kill them, it do not have mercy. It do not look back. Those were the days of Ananias and Sapphira. Simple lie. What actually belonged to them? It was their property. They sold it. They did not want to say how much they said they sold it. They died instantly. Those were the days where there were no mercy. No mercy. It was an eye for an eye. Days. Huh? The days where... Cain was punished instantly for killing his brother. Yes. The days where you get punished instantly. You reap your punishment instantly as you go. The days where people are stoned to death when they are found committing adultery or even fornication. They are stoned to death instantly. Those are the days you want to bring here now. Really? Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Where 
a matter of that fact because they wanted to collect the one that was already married and the mind is right and she said no now shop at clean matter can't do i'm not going to marry you and then ah this nation they want to use it to destroy other people marriage encouraging the young stars you know the young ones go into marriages destroy condemn and they you know do whatever you want to do it is all right a man can have many as many Go marry their own. Then you will know what you are coming for. You see all those people supporting that fact. A woman can go. You can date. A man has the right. African man has the right. Eh? Try and go to their husband. Or even boyfriend or baby father. Do they, they, they will unleash all the hell in them. I'm telling you. I just view them when they talk. I listen to them and I go, seriously? You see this, these people I'm talking about, eh? Those people who said a man is allowed to marry one wife, marry two wife, three wife, four wife, eh? If they have boyfriend, if they have husband, eh? Try go there. Just try there. Eh? Oh! Hurricane, eh? What? Which? Maria, Hurricane Maria. Now they go unleash. Hurricane Maria. That is the one that we unleash on you. I'm telling you. But hey, they are there pretending. They pretend because they have no choice now but to settle as a second best. They have no choice. Oh, and listen, the truth be told. Any woman that go, a man can marry a mother while we check them, Google them. Mm, yes, research them, investigate them. You will find out that is it that they are not married or they are dating a married man? Yes. Is it that they are not married or they are dating a married man or the man in their life have refused to take them seriously and they are eyeing somebody else's marriage? Because honestly, no woman in, his right, in her right senses, no woman who is a married woman, eh, having a husband to herself will encourage that nonsense. I'm telling you, it is the truth. Search them. Just search them. Even the ones who were that is whose husband got a second wife without them knowing. Now they are inside. They will not even come out and say it is all right. They will not do that. 
It is those who are tired, retired whores. Yes. They are tired. It don't, they don't dark for them. Exactly. Bless you. They don't dark for them. When they were supposed to settle down, they were gallant, gallivanting all over everywhere, tasting everything that is to be tasted, dating all the big men and all the popular men in town. They were busy. Enjoying, they said, they're too fine. Nothing like them. Nonsense. Popular, my foot. And then, those who deem it fit at their prime stage, they do not look to their beauty. People like us, <laughs> who do not look to their beauty, who did not look to their intelligence, they didn't look to their education. They, they said, ah, this one, let me settle down. They did not listen to all this swish, 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 coming from corner to corner, the toaster's machines. They didn't listen to them. They abandoned all the present and all the expensive gifts. Say, eh, eh, I do not want it. I am taken. Nah, where your son don't go down. And then I your own, yeah, people. Now you are waking up. It is your money. You have to start now. Ah, I cannot, I can, I cannot come, 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 here. You are ready to devour. You are ready to go into places where you are not invited or, or welcome. It doesn't concern you. And you have the effrontery, the gods, the temerity, the audacity to come out and start making it look like it is all right. Just keep quiet, please. Let those people away. I will not be here. You keep quiet. Let her cry. Don't come out just trying to, to make it look like, ah, I've done nothing wrong. It is okay. I'm not the one that started it. You might not be the one that started it. Eh? In your case, you might end it. You understand what I'm saying? Did you get me? Because honestly, I don't get it. Like, are you kidding me? Are you alright? Are you alright? When is it okay to date a married man or a married woman? Now let me answer that question. Hmm? Never! It is a two yellow lane. For those of you who, who went to driving school, who know how to drive, who have certificates in driving, not just those who just do, uh, you know, Buwakala driving thing, Tokaremoto, teach me for primary school feed. No, those of you actually went to driving school, you know, double yellow lane, right? It is a no parking zone any time of the day, 24 hours, no parking. Where there is two double yellow lane, yeah? You are not allowed to park there any time at all. Maybe the rules of the road where you are is different, but the rules of the road where I am, where there is two yellow lane double yellow lane on the really you do are not allowed to wear mini skirt or sh short neck or whatever it is those are tradition you understand what i'm saying did you get and even during the days of this tradition there are honorable men who stick to one woman one woman Yes, they stick to one woman because they know, they know that if you want to live long, manage what you can afford. You understand? So don't come here being all hypocrite, glamoured, talking about tradition. Tradition say, tradition. Are you? Are you? Don't sound like a traditionalist when you are not one. You are not even close to it. You are not close to it. You want to be a societal lady, you jump from one place to another. Pion, 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 pion. Any meeting, any day. Now you day there. She a lady. She a lady. You are here talking about tradition. Seriously? Seriously? Why am I saying all this? There were so many tra traditions. There were so many laws and rules of our tradition that held our forefathers and foremothers backwards. That caged them and killed them. And the new millennial, the new generation says, uh uh, this is no longer good. We need to change things. Laws were made in their time to suit them, to favor them. And in our time, we say, no, this, not, this is not right. 
the forefathers are gone. They make the rules and the laws because it favors them. We have to make the one that favor us this time because it is our time. Exactly. Now, 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 you know what is wrong and what is right. Call a spade a spade. And people will respect you for that. Don't come here because you are so naive, so so backward, so frustrated, so egoistic, so self-centered. You see what is wrong and you call it right? Because why? Because your person or your personal person is involved in it? Please. Call what is wrong, wrong. Dish it out. This is where you are wrong. This is where you are right. If truly you are a peacemaker, dish it to everyone where they are wrong and where they are right. And let's move forward. Don't come here and start sounding like gallant lady. Who are you? Who are